Howdy. Today we're going over a song most closely associated with this group, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, and specifically its steel guitar player, Leon McAuliffe, and the famous tune, Steel Guitar Rag. Ah, take it away, Leon, Bob Wills would yell. And Leon did take it away. He took this song from a gentleman named Sylvester Weaver, who in 1927 recorded Guitar Rag, same melody, all the same chords. Our transcription for our solo is taken directly from the steel guitar of the 1936 Bob Wills recording. In looking at the chords to the song, you can see that there are three distinct parts, each of them being 16 measures long. If you're a bluegrass mandolin player like I am, you may not be used to playing in the key of E that much, so here's chords as I choose to play them. Playing my E chord like this, B chord as a three finger chord. When I need an E7 I just add my pinky. Take my A to A7 and finish up E, B, E. Later you'll need an F sharp if you can get the full chop at this first fret. That way you can just walk it over to the B. If you're having trouble with that big stretch, you could play your F sharp like this. Just a three string chord. In part B, I play my B chord like this, since I'm gonna drop it from B, B flat to A. And those will give you the chords that you need. We'll now go over just a couple of the phrases that you'll find in the solo and help you get the correct fingerings. Here's the very opening phrase. One, two, three, four, one. This phrase is from the B going back to the E. One, two, three. Here's the phrase that begins part B. One, two, three. This is the F sharp to the B phrase, the most difficult fingering in the solo. Slide your first finger from two to four, second finger on fret six, pinky on fret nine. Some people may feel more comfortable going third finger on fret six. And then slide your first finger from fret four to six. This time your third finger. Part C begins by playing off this double stop associated with an E chord, frets 2 and 6. You slide from fret 5 to 6. When you go to the A chord you have the same lick, just moved over. And the B chord is playing off the three finger shape. This special ending that's associated with steel guitar rag did not appear on the 1936 recording, but many other famous recordings. It begins on beat two. One. And we're playing a fancy add nine chord there where the third finger bars two strings. Still Guitar Rag is a great song to play at a fairly fast clip. Even in a bluegrass setting where they want to play everything fast, you'll be able to play along because all of the notes are quarter notes. Whenever there's an eighth note, we play it as a slur, a hammer on, a slide, or a pull off. And this allows us to just keep pounding out downstrokes, not having to play any down ups. We'll now perform the entire solo at a brisk 2.30 on your metronome. If you need to slow the video down, use the YouTube feature. Speaking of slowing down, slow down, take a second, and subscribe to this channel for more great instruction.